Hey! I've got like a new thing in the background. Isn't that so sick? I'm gonna be doing like a vinyl setup tour situation soon, so I'll go more in depth then, but for now it's just something pretty for you to look at in the background. When you're not focused on the pretty and hot foreground, you can look at the pretty background. <laughs> yeah. Today we are going to be reacting to Zayn's brand new album, Room Under the Stairs. I, as we all know, am a One Direction fan. Therefore, I am a fan of the boys as solo artists, or at least like four out of five of them. I love Loved Mind of Mine, his first album, and Icarus Falls, his second album. However, I have not heard his third album, Nobody Is Listening. I might go back and listen to that in a video if that would be interesting for you guys to watch. But today we are focused on his brand new album, his fourth album. He's been promoing this album a lot. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what the promo was like for his previous albums, but this one, I'm like, oh my god, so many vinyl variants I feel like I've seen. Going on like talk shows, um, he's going on tour potentially. Like this is this is unheard of for Zayn. I'm so happy for him. I've only heard the single Alienated and I think maybe I've heard the single What I Am. Right off the bat, it's completely, it's a complete like vibe switch from his first two albums because you know, he is a farmer yeah. now. He lives on a farm. He has chickens. He has like animals. So obviously the music is going to reflect that. And it sounds a bit like folk, not completely country, I don't think. But before we get into this reaction, let me do my usual disclaimer. If you're new here, if you've never seen one of my reactions before, I am clearly, hopefully it's clear that I'm not a music professional, I'm not a music critic. At the end of the day, all I am is a fangirl sitting alone in her bedroom. Yeah, we get the point. So don't go too hard on me if I don't like stuff. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not gonna fake liking something cause you know what? My yeah. face would show it. So I wouldn't be able to do a very good job of hiding that. But anyways, I'm here to tell you what I like and what I don't like about the music we're gonna be listening to today. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Today we've got 15 songs on this album. It's only like 50 minutes, I think, yeah. Let's get started with track one, Dreamin'. One, two, three, Ooh. Go. Me what I say. Ooh. Ooh. This one's kind of fun. Ooh. Goosebumps. He has proven that he can just sing any genre he wants and he's going to sound amazing. Amazing, if you will. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. His voice just sounds so, oh my god, like raw. <laughs> This feels authentic to who he who he is like right now. You don't have like this kind of a huge switch up between your music genres without there being some kind of like personal growth or healing process that is like gone on, right? That's how I feel. And as I expected, the lyrics are gonna be sad as fuck, but masked by like a groovy little bee. Like, yes. I love that by the way, if that wasn't clear. Loved it. Let's go into track two, What I Am. I uh, potentially have heard this, so let's just go for it. I've been drinking absinthe. Whoa, why does he have like a country twang all of a sudden? Don't take me for what I'm saying, just take me for what I am. Ooh. This is where I'm staying, my two feet are in the sand. Oh, I loved that. The lyrics and the melody. At first I was unsure about how I felt with whatever the f*** he's doing with his voice in this one. Like he's emulating like kind of a country twang. And I don't know how I feel about that, but otherwise loving it. Oh! Okay, but this, this on vinyl. Guys, I told myself I need to stop buying so many vinyl, but like... Ooh. I love this instrumental. Oh, I loved that one too. I'm pretty sure I've heard like snippets of that one on TikTok, but I haven't listened to it in full. Um, as per usual, at the end, I will give my top three off the album. And as per usual, I forgot to say that in the intro, but <laughs> so far, so far, so good. Let's go on to track three, Grateful. I see your mother shine in your eye. I know that you're mine and I cry you. Oh. Some mishaps I've been mourning, but I'm grateful for it. Damn. Yeah. 
I will never not be shocked by this man's vocal abilities. That instrumental. I love that. I'm definitely liking this one. I'm really hoping that all the songs don't end up sounding too similar at the end, because so far they're kind of all merging together in my mind. So far the instrumentals I think have been my favorite part. Yes, his vocals are amazing, but the instrumentals, I'm loving it. Because the instrumentals don't sound super folky. It's his voice that is making it sound that way. This is very interesting, what's happening right now. Like, honestly, I don't really know what's going on. That one wasn't my favorite. I think the other two were better. Let's go to track four, Alienated, which is another single that I'm pretty sure I've heard snippets of, but again, I haven't listened to in full. So let's go for it. No two people are the same. It's very soulful music. It's definitely a great way to describe it. Ooh. I think this, this one is my least favorite so far. I just completely zoned out, <laughs> which is not a good sign. I don't think that's a really good sign. This one in specific sounds repetitive to me. This one is definitely my <laughs> least favorite so far. <laughs> Let's move on to track five, My Woman. Love me partly. Yep. Yep. This is reminding me a little bit of like Fleetwood Mac a little bit, like. Wow, that's so good. This one is like making me like excited and giddy and that's what I look for when listening to music. I'm like, I want to be excited to listen to this music. And that's how I'm feeling right now. His harmonies in the background are too low. I need them to be louder, honestly. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if anyone, I'm sure other people do this, but like when I look at a track list, I can tell which ones based on the title alone are going to be my favorite ones. And I knew from the second I saw My Woman, I said, claimed that one's mine. I saw it three minutes and 42 seconds ago and I said, mine. I can remember doing that looking at like fine line. I looked at She before listening and I went, that one's mine. Played it, immediately my favorite and has been ever since. I know my stuff, it's the intuition. Let's go to track six, how it feels. I've been getting old standing by the river. Chills again. I feel like I just am absorbing this song. I have like no thoughts. I'm just like, wow. I'm just lying to your face. Wow. Wow, oh, this is so Sad. I'm not obsessed with that one, but like objectively as a song that was so beautiful I honestly did not know how I was going to feel going into this album knowing that he switched his whole genre around But I kind of love it. Only he could make me love this. Honestly, I'm going to listen to anything that Zane puts out Apparently except his third album. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go on to track seven Stardust Let's give it a listen Love the title of this one also Why did I say it's the titles, dude? The titles and my intuition are too strong. They're like this. I knew. 13 seconds in, I said, yes. Love it. So how am I gonna get Casey Musgraves and Zayn to do a collab? How am I gonna get that to happen? Cause I think Casey on this would be... Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this one playlist. Ooh. I'm adding this to my summer playlist. This is such a summery vibe. This by The Pool. I'm like daydreaming. That's how you know a song is good to me, is when I can sit here and daydream the perfect scenario of when I would be listening to it, okay? Picture this, me sitting by the pool with my boyfriend, I guess. Doesn't exist, but like in this 
delusion. He does exist. He's sitting next to me. We're vibing. We're listening to Stardust sitting by the pool. It's summertime. Like, it's the vibe. That's the vibe. So who wants to make that happen? Okay, anyways, this song is good. <laughs> this is so... What's Zane's astrological sign? I need to know. Capricorn. Yikes. Um, anyways. I'm not gonna let that ruin my vibe. Let's continue. <laughs> Ooh, the guitar. He made this song for me. He did, in fact, Zayn Malik sat down with Republic Records and said, hey, I, I wanna make history. <laughs> Cause that guitar with this, like romantic vibe, oh, I'm eating it up, I'm eating it up, I'm eating it up. Let me stop talking about Stardust because otherwise I will sit here for the rest of the video talking about it because I'm obsessed. Let's go on to track eight, Gates of Hell. Okay, <laughs> um, kind of a vibe switch from uh, Stardust. It sounds angry. It probably won't be. Could you imagine? It's like heavy metal, like rock. He's like screaming. I actually would love that. So fucked I can feel my face. The weekend be like. No. I don't like you very much. <laughs> I don't like you very much. Oh, I feel like I walked in on something I wasn't supposed to. Here. This sounds like um, something that the characters in Glee would come up with, like a diss track for each other. And that's not a diss. Like, I know that sounds like it should be a diss, but that's actually complimentary um, because I love Glee. I'm not loving this one, but I think I think it would get stuck in my head. Ah, I don't like you very much. Simple but effective. I'll give him that. That one was interesting. I kind of love it, though. Let's move on to track nine, Birds on a Cloud. This one sounds different. Yeah. So when I wake up today, please give me one more day of happiness I need. Oh, his voice. This one is sad, dude. I mean, all of them have pretty much been sad for the most part. <laughs> uh, but this one is like he he his voice sounds like so sad and depressed and like defeated. But the the instructor is like, hey, let's party. not come to mess around. I feel like I'm being thrown. Like my emotions are getting tossed around. Like he's talking about, in all these songs, he's talking about like mm, drinking too much, <laughs> hiding, wanting to escape, not being with the right person, like ruining your life, Loki. Like, dang, so good, like so good. How many times can I say something good? It's good. Track 10. Next up, Concrete Kisses, love that name. I'm not getting like a soul, I'm not feeling a soul connection to this one just based on the title, but I do enjoy the title. All I wanted was a cup of coffee. Concrete kisses on my face and forehead. That is such like a romantic way to say that you uh, are face down on the ground after being like inebriated, inebriated? Yeah. Wow, look at me using big words. This might not sound right, but it's all right because it's real. Love. Yes. At first, I did not like that one. I was like, okay. And then I was like, okay. That one. Wow. Hmm. I say this about every time I do a reaction, but it's going to be real hard to pick a top three in a good way. All right, let's go on to track 11, False Starts. Fast car, fast heart, trouble Ooh. in my brain. Big dreams, false starts, and I know I've changed. Don't want the things we can't have. Ooh, yeah, I am loving this album 10 times more than I thought I would. Wow. It's hard, but it only gets harder. Love it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, 
Oh. Oh, wait. Dude, I'm gonna cry. Why am I gonna cry? It's me imagining scenarios in my head where I would be listening to this. It's like if I was in a movie, this is the scene that this song would be the soundtrack to. Diegetic or not, like this song would be playing. And that's what's happening up here right now and that's why I wanna cry. <laughs> oh. Guys, I love music so much. He, that one is so good. Um, okay, let's go to track 12, The Time. Yesterday just came and went, the sounds running in song Ooh, this one might actually get me because, um, I get really anxious and existential about, like, time and how time flies and awesome. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Ow. Oh, I like this album has just progressively gotten better and better and better and better. We're down to our final three. Track 13, something in the water. Baby, there's a shark in the water. Yeah, double whammy. Not only am I a Glee fan, but I am also a Degrassi fan. Like, oof. Pick a struggle for real. Like, okay, let's go. Something in the water. The instrumentals are eating every time. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. What was that? Uh, James. Ooh. Love it. I just want him out here doing like vocal gymnastics, you know? Just because I know he can and I love it. Short and sweet, love it. Next up, track 14, Shoot at Will. That's how I need to listen to this album saying thank you. I need to be running barefoot in a field. Oh. oh my god. Oh, just like heartbreaking. Damn. We have officially made it to our last song. Yes. Track 15, Fuchsia C. Guys, I'm getting it. I'm getting that feeling where this title, I feel it in my bones. This one's gonna be good. Sounds like choir vibes. I gotta love this feeling. Interesting. Yep. Oh, hey. Mm. We have officially listened to the entire album. Wow, I loved it. I loved it. But before I get into my final thoughts, let me go and struggle to pick a top three, and then I'll come back, share my top three, share my final thoughts, and yeah. I'm back with a top four. I couldn't pick a top three. It's just too difficult. My fourth favorite song off the album. Something in the water. Must be something in the water. My third favorite. Birds on a cloud. Year. Number two. My first one and my second one were kind of hard to choose between because they both could be a number one. But the one I put in number one, I just wouldn't shut the up about so that's how I determine that. So in second place, we've got False Starts. Yeah. <laughs> And then that only leaves for my first spot, my favorite off the album, Stardust, come on. 
Okay, well, I love this album. I, starting off, I was like, okay, it's good, but it's not my favorite thing he's ever done. I can get through listening to it, but I'm not gonna be like fiending to like hear these songs afterwards. Boy, was I wrong. I was wrong. As I kept moving through this album, they just kept getting better and better and better. Please go listen to this album. Let me know your favorites off the album. Let me know what you think about his genre switch up because I love it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You can give it a thumbs up if you did. You can also subscribe down below for more videos from me. Uh, hey, yeah, you should do that. You should totally do that. We just hit 7,000 subscribers. So what? Guys, I'm literally a celebrity. Thank you. I'm gonna go. So I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.